guys, it's Jen from Cat Scrap Designs. I hope everybody's doing well today. This is a part two of the um, envelope uh, flip flaps and fun insert that we did the other day. And I thought I'd come along today and start to do the, the tags and journal cards um, that need to go in here before decorating and then we'll do a um, decorative topper right here. So I already cut up um, some tags, actually the exact amount of journal cards that I'm gonna be needing. Two journal cards. three larger tags and two small tags for those two small coin envelopes. And I will be stitching my um, journal cards and tags. Um, some of them I'm gonna be able to decorate. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do that today, but I'll be able to decorate and some I won't because the envelopes are kind of tight and small like those small coin envelopes. Um, so we'll decide, I guess, as, as I go on, um, I have some digitals that I'm going to use just to do, we have a bunch of different, I'm going to use some of the ones from yesterday as well to make the tags that we don't want those to go to waste, use whatever we can. And I thought that we could use the little yellow ones here for the smaller tags. Trying not to waste any paper. I'm gonna get a glue sheet. So I'm just gonna stick those up there for now. So we'll, we'll, do, we'll do these two first. Get my glue stick. Actually, where's my other glue stick? Because I'm going to be... I'm going to use this one because I will be stitching these down. So I don't need to use the expensive one. This is just to kind of... Get these two just stick on there. So how is everybody today? What do you guys um, have on your craft tables? Or what have you been crafting? I have a couple of journals that have been sitting up here that I have to do flip throughs. I haven't done that yet. That's kind of it's not even it's not even a nice day out here today. Um, and tomorrow we may be going to Orlando um, Universal for the day or half a day because it might be raining tomorrow as well. But I got to get use out of my season tickets, <clears throat> so. So 
So that's what I'll be doing. I'll have to clean those scissors off with alcohol. So we have two. Two tiny tags that will fit in those tiny coin envelopes. So these are the ones I don't think I'm going to decorate. With anything. Journal cards we're definitely going to decorate. Might even use fabric for those. So I'm going to leave these here. And then... This is the paper that printed out wonky. So I don't want to get that white piece on there, but I do want to get that guest check in there. Let's see, this one came out all weird. And it's not sticking correctly. this way just to make sure I get it all in. I'll waste a little bit. And we have this one here.
This is a pretty pink one with a pretty flower. And we'll do that one. These are all um, backed onto file folders. So they have a nice thickness to them. And then we just have the journal cards left. I really got to clean these scissors with some alcohol. And I'm wondering This will fit, and then maybe we could do the other one. We could do a collage tag. Let's see. I think that'll work. We definitely have enough paper to do a collage. So here's the one journal tag that'll go on the inside. And then We 
we could start journaling, uh, start putting this together. And I'm going to use the other, I'm going to use my, my Scotch Create for the collage. Just kind of lean it out a little bit just to see. See how we can lay this out with what I have left. We could put this butterfly here. Although I do like this bird. Just do two pieces of this. I think we'll have enough to do some clusters too. Remove this over here. Let's look over this one down first.
actually I should have put this underneath that. Let's see if I can move that before it dries. Yes, this is the easiest part is just getting the paper paper on here I'll just have to do a little bit of trimming on that. We have our last piece. And we have our collaged journal card. I think that came out pretty cute. Now just to do a little bit of trimming. There we go. <clears throat> I think that came out pretty cute. I think I'll cut some tabs out for the journal cards. This way it'll be easier to pull them out of the envelope. This one is for here. Like I said, I wanna sew them. So 
this one is for here. And the journal cards will be here. So I think if I put a tab before I sew them, one on one side, one on the other, I think we'll be good. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sew these up, and then I will be back. All right, so I am back with the sewn journal cards and tags, and this is what they look like. I put the tabs on both of the journal cards. I did zigzag and straight stitch. Another type of stitch I did. They look pretty just as they are, but we will decorate them. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them um, as of yet. <clears throat> I know that um, these two I am just going to let sit in here and it's got enough room that if I put a fabric topper, let's see if this one does too. opening to this one. Oh, this one's on this side. Um, this one doesn't. And we still have to decorate. So, this one I may just, let's see how far it goes down. I don't want to push it too far. Let's see. I could put some twine on this one just to let it hang so I could pull it out. That I could definitely do. Um, I'm debating on putting the circles, like the page protectors on here <clears throat> just using um see what it would look like and then putting a hole right in the middle I'd like to try to get it as accurate as possible. Don't know if that's going to happen. Oh, that's not too bad. And then we could put twine on this one. Um, where's my glitter glue? And I'll just have to put a hole through that. Let's see if I can do that twice. Or this might be easier. 
is there. I also have pink twine, but I'm not going to um, use that. This here. Let's see if I could get this through. Oh man. Let's see. No, nope, gotta do that over. I cut this a little I had to cut that piece off because it was a little burned on one end. Try this again. I know. Try it. Try it with my tweezers. And then we can leave this hanging out so we can pull this out. See if that will I don't know if that knot will keep from closing it may so I might have to do something different with that just trying to think I put it in the no. Yeah. And it'll still close. I just don't like the way. I don't like the way that is. So I'm gonna have to think of something different. I'm gonna pull this out. But I think for today, I'm just gonna keep these the way they are. And um, just putting the papers on the tags and the journal cards and sewing them uh, took up enough time so what I think I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna leave a tab on for the other side because we could pull it out on the on the smaller one 
And then I'm just going to glue on a regular tab on that small tag. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then that should fit pretty well. And then so we'll just leave these and then I thought with this one right here to put a corner flip up so and we'll leave it a pocket as well and this is tracing paper Put it a little bit higher so we could see the um, the stitches. And I had a little piece of leftover little piece of leftover card um, file folder that I thought this would be perfect. Just like a little, I don't know, it's a tiny tag. We'll put a word on it. I think this is the way it goes. a little inking on that. And I think we'll cut this a little bit. Put a little sentiment on that. We'll put a pink pink journal on that. it up a bit and 
use that as a pocket. And this will flip up and you can write on here. I'm going to put Slit there. And get my material that I use for my tag toppers. And I have good. Let's do a little put a butterfly on that. like glued half of the wing so you could lift that up and right then I'm gonna put do another Tag topper, some fabric, there we go. And I have a piece of fabric. This is the right way. Gonna put a little bit on here. It's a little bit of lace. sit for a bit. It's kind of kind of sticky. And then we have a little sentiment we can put
top or bottom? I think I'm going to put it on the top. Let me close this up before it dries out. And another piece of fabric. For this one here and I do have another piece of lace I am going to use my glue stick for this. And let's see here. I have a piece of green. Little green rhinestones. So, right till about there. Let's see if this will hold. We'll put another sentiment at the bottom there in green. And I think these sentiments came from Artie Mays. I think if I'm correct, they were a freebie. They came in pink and green. This one says friendship. And 
I'm just going to put this at the bottom. And I think for now, I think for now I'm going to leave it like that and we'll do the journal cards on another day. So putting those to the side. Um, before I put those in, I'll let those dry a little bit. But um, I had an idea for the front, and it was using her. I thought she was pretty. Some corrugated cardboard with some lace. And I think that'll go right there on the front. But I think we'll do that on another day, because I want to paint that um, corrugated cardboard a little bit. Um sew that up the the lace and um whatnot but these little the little tags see if we leave this in here that'll close up fine And this one goes in backwards. And I think if I use, yep, yeah, that'll that that's a lot better than the um, than the string. So we'll leave that like that. This top was for this tag. I could have glued, did a little more gluing right here, sticking up. really should wait for that to dry before I put it in. But I'm going to stick that in there. This one was also a top tuck this one was a side which may not hold and actually that may not hold my fabric So I need to come up with a different plan for this one. I didn't think about that because it's not a top tuck. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I do have an extra piece of fabric. Fabric. I keep calling it fabric. It's lace.
and I'm thinking if I sew this down, I'll be able to get that in. Let me sew this real quick. because I already put the hole where that should have went. So let's see if this will fit. Let's hope it'll fit. Otherwise I might have to make a new tag, but it's fabric. So I should be able to squeeze it in there. And I can, but I might have to cut some of that off to get that all in. Still going to be a little thick, but I think it'll still work because we didn't even put a closure on this yet. So we have those done, and the only thing we need to do now is decorate um, these two. Well, not the only thing we need to do, but we need to decorate these and we need to start decorating the inside of these as well. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Um, I have a plan for the top here, which I think will come out really cute. And um, until then guys, until my next video, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching, bye.